hi guys in this video i'll be showing you how to add active directory users using a powershell script now we will go to our server manager under users and computers i have created a folder called employees that's the that's an ou folder this is where we're going to put our new users entry now we go out and we open PowerShell by simply searching. So you type in PowerShell. I prefer to use ISE. You can use the other plain PowerShell, but I prefer to use ISE. And then I run as administrator. Now on our we're gonna we're gonna script on our script pane, which is the white portion. So you're just gonna open a or rather create a, a new uh, file and um, save as we need to save it as um, you can give it any name you want but i'll save mine as user entry user entry this is the script i'll run every time i want to enter a a user so the commandlet to create a new user is new ad user new ad user and then if you look if you type in dash you will see that it gives you all the parameters also on the left is the command pane or the command add on pane if you type in the commandlet and go to show details it will show you all the parameters that are associated with that commandlet it i find it helpful sometimes because it reminds me of some of the parameters that i might forget so it is quite a useful tool. However, I don't I don't enter my information on it. I prefer to use the script pane to write my scripting. So I'll go and add the name parameter and under name I'll make it uh, I'll call the user user1. Then the next parameter would be I'll go with the surname again you can enter there in the entry box but i prefer to use the the script pane so i just type in say name and our say name will be tier one so full name will be user one tier one the next will be the get name which i'll just make it the same as or the given name sorry i'll make it the same as user one as the name and then user principal name which is the username um, is any name you give it uh, at domain whatever domain your your ad is under however you only type in the the name part of the username the domain will be auto completed or auto filled by the ad and then we go to the account password which is the password of the user so as you can see my statement is becoming long so i'm going to chop it up into sections and then stack them over each other but for you to do that you have to add this special character which is the back quote it's a key right next to your your number one key or the escape key on the top left corner of your keyboard so then i'm going to go ahead and enter my account password details and it's convert to secure string and then type in the string which is password and you must have at least one uppercase letter and a number plus a lower lowercase number you could have special characters as well it's fine and then you the parameters are as plain text and force so those are parameters you add now we're gonna go for the path this is where we are going to save our user this is the folder we've created earlier our OU folder which is employees so now we are going to look for the path by right clicking on the folder then properties there's a tab missing over there and for us to be able to access the tab we have to go to view tick advanced features and now you can see we have more information if you right click again properties 
you will see we have an attribute editor we go to distinguish name and we double click on it and then we copy the information over there we go back to a script editor and then we paste the path now if you look at the name attribute it appears to be purple whereas the rest are like dark blue so that shows that there is an there's a syntax error somewhere there so we have to go and investigate it's the reason for it is because we have extra padding or double spaces from that special character so we have to remove those spaces and now you can see it's a darker color than it was before otherwise our script wasn't going to run now we are going to run the script you will note there are no errors let's go back to our active directory to see if the user has been created but first i want to remove this access folders and if we go to our employees you will see indeed our user one has been created and the username is there and there's the domain name so we have successfully created a user using our script however if you look at this icon it has a downward pointing error which means that the user is not enabled and to do that we have to go back to our script and type in enable ad account and then the identity we give it the user one because that's the user we want to enable now we will also do the get ad user this is simply to just print out the information of the user on our display pane And first of all, before I run the script, I will remove the user by simply typing remove ad user. I do this to avoid there being a conflict since the user already exists and I cannot run the script for the second time. Now we confirm to delete the user. We go back to user to ad and refresh. Now you see the user is gone. So now I can run my script to create the user once again. And as you can see, we also get the information. And indeed, it says enabled true. And it gives us the rest of the users' names and other details. Now we go refresh our AD. And you'll see our icon does not have the download pointing error, which means that the user is enabled and ready to go. So we have successfully added a user using our script. However, this is not the best practice because every time we add a user, we will have to retype the script. So now we need to write to automate the process by using variables. And we do that by simply creating variables our first variable will be first name a read host this basically just reads the information punched in the keyboard and then it will prompt us to enter first name now the second variable will be surname then the command read host and then the prompt will be enter surname so we're going to do the same with the username we'll just change the prompt to enter user and the last one will be password the prompt will be password as well Okay, I'll change the first name just for uniformity, but it doesn't really matter. And now I am going to place the variable next to the parameter, the name and the given name are going to be the same variable, the same information. Then the same name will go to the same name parameter and then 
the password will replace the string in our account password parameter all right now i am going to remove the previously added user this will give us a fresh empty folder i'm also going to clear the screen I will also add variables to those two commandlets. Then I run the script. See, it prompts us to enter the use to the first name. We'll call it user one. Second name will be tier one. Then username. I'll make it u one t one for user one tier one. And the password. Then you just press enter and you will see the, all the information and the user is also enabled. Now if we go back to our active directory and refresh, there our new user, our user exists with all the information that we have entered. I am going to run the script for the second time to add a second user. We'll name him or her user 2 uh, tier 1 u2 t1 and then the password I hit enter and uh oh we have some error here all right i realized that i had not created a variable for user principal name and it conflicted with the information of the previously added user because he was user one tier one so that wasn't the issue so now if i run the script again everything should be fine so now we're going to add a user two tier two u2 t2 password as you can see enable true if you refresh we have a second user added to our active directory and u2t2 the domain name has been added so, and that was quick right so we can do the same thing for user 3 click enter and as you refresh you'll see we have the third user edit so this script makes it very easy to enter multiple users in a very short period of time i can also remove any user that i wish by just simply typing in the username and running the script or running the command and if you refresh the user is gone